podcast. I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Eric Prince. Epic Radio. Epic Radio. Welcome to the 21st episode of Epic Radio with me, Eric Pritz. This episode is coming to you live from the mobile Epic Radio studio here in Frankfurt, Germany. I've decided to check up here for a few days and get rested after the big Australian Indian tour that I just came back from. It's really nice to be back here in Europe again. Even though it is a bit cold, it really does feel like coming home. On the show today, I got a lot of really fresh music lined up for you guys. Some brand new stuff from me that I've been playing on my Australian Asian tour. And also loads of new music from some of my favorite producers. And as always, I'll be ending the show with the vinyl chapter. That's enough talking for me, let's get into the music. I'm gonna start off with a mix of three tracks. The first one is something new from me that I've been trying out in Australia and it went down like a bomb. Welcome to Epic Radio. Thank you. 
coming out of that three track mix with a brand new remix of my track Liberate. As a lot of you know, the video for Liberate was shot in Australia. And while I was there now touring, I thought it would be a good idea to make an updated version of this track that would fit into the kind of music that I like playing right now. So I made this new remix out of it. Really happy to share that track with you guys here on Epic Radio. Let me know what you think of that remix and the show so far. Hit me up on Twitter at Eric Pritz and on Facebook. I'll be reading all your comments and try to uh, answer as many as I can throughout the show. So as I said, I am currently here in, in Frankfurt, Germany, getting some well-deserved rest after a long tour of Australia and also India. Australia was so nice to come back to again. Um, the Electric Garden Festival was beyond amazing. I made a lot of new friends and, and I really want to thank all the Aussies that came to the shows and hopefully I'll get to see you guys soon again. Going to India for the first time was such an amazing experience. I've never been there before, but I know that I have a really big following there. And to finally be able to meet all you guys at the festivals and all the after parties that we did at the clubs was such an amazing experience. And I can't wait to come back again. The gigs I had while I was there was probably one of the best experiences I've ever had as a DJ. Absolutely amazing. Between all the shows I've done on this tour, there's obviously been loads of traveling. I actually traveled um, by bus between Brisbane and Perth. And if you look that up on a map, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's been some serious traveling. Then you have a lot of time to kill and a lot of music to listen to. And there has been a lot of new music coming out lately that I am absolutely loving. So I thought I was going to do a mix compiled by the music that me and my team have been listening to while traveling on the tour in both Australia and in India. Most of the tracks in this mix are going to be a little bit more chilled and more laid back. But as you will hear, it's the perfect travel music. So if you're in a car on your way to work or somewhere, put this mix on and it'll send you off. This is Epic Radio. Taking you on a musical journey.
listening to me eric pritz in the mix here on epic radio let me know what you think of the show so far hit me up on twitter at eric pritz facebook you can also send me a message on instagram i'll read those messages as well i'd love your feedback on the show i am getting ready to head over to north america again next up on the schedule is my north american club tour i'll be doing stops in washington dc toronto Back in New York again, we added a second show there. Really excited to be back in one of my favorite towns in the world. Then off to Miami for the Winter Music Conference with the Pride of Party at Space and also doing a show together with Above and Beyond, which I'm really excited about. Then I'm gonna head back to LA on the tour bus, but I'll be making stops in New Orleans, Houston, Austin and Dallas before arriving in LA to do Factory 93. Most of these shows are already sold out. I think there's a few more tickets left for the second night in New York. So if you haven't got one already, get online on my Facebook page and click the link and go and get your ticket for that one. I'm really looking forward to doing another club tour in the US again. It's always very special for me and I can't wait to see all you guys in the clubs again.
Eric Prince. That's almost it for me. Coming out of that slightly longer mix here on Epic Radio with one of my all-time favorites, Pangea by Michael Cassette, the Envotion remix. It just felt like the perfect ending to that section of music. I do have one more thing before I leave you guys for this week's episode. It's time for the vinyl chapter. The vinyl chapter. If you are listening in to the show for the first time, the vinyl chapter is when I pick an older track that has been very influential or in some way or form important to me while growing up and evolving as a musician and as a DJ. On this week's show, I've chosen a track that was on repeat at my house when I was a kid. Growing up listening to electronic pop music, bands like Kraftwerk and Depeche Mode were my biggest heroes, as a lot of you guys might know. And my favorite album of all time is the Speak and Spell album by Depeche Mode. That album was produced and written mostly by Vince Clark, who back then still was a member of Depeche Mode. He left the band and went on to do other things, and one of the new bands that he formed was a band called Erasure, together with Andy Bell. The track that I've chosen for this episode was made back in 1986, and I think it was their third single, and probably one of their biggest hits as a band. Me and my best friend when I was a kid, Nicholas, used to listen to this track all the time. And even though this track is a little bit cheesy, it just brings me back to being a kid, hearing electronically made music for the first time. And I think you can really hear a lot of the influences in my music today from this track. The track I'm talking about, Erasure, All Amour. Yeah.